Let's look into the mailbag and read through an email that I received today. I am reaching out because I currently work at a community college and assist in ADA remediation of documents to be posted on our website. To bring in more income, I am looking into offering freelance ADA remediation services through something like Fiverr. Do you have any suggestions of any training or certifications that would be good for me to have? Uh, so this is a common question. Many people are looking to supplement their income by offering accessibility services and or make accessibility work their primary source of income. Now, looking through the first part of this question, do you have any suggestions on any training? Well, that answer is going to depend in part on your level of expertise. So if you are not a complete expert in document remediation, first, I would shore that up. And the place that I looked to learn about document remediation is the Adobe reference materials. And this is specifically for PDFs, obviously. Uh, but I like to look to the source material. Um, and so even if you get training after looking at the reference materials, now you know what is coming from the source. So I recommend starting with the Adobe reference materials and learning there to shore up any lack of knowledge that you have as when it comes to remediation. And I say potentially lack of knowledge because here she writes assist in remediation of documents. So that leads me to think that you may not be able to remediate all types of documents or there are areas where you're not completely familiar with a document remediation. So that's the first part of the question is uh, suggestions on training and then certifications that would be good for you to have. Um, when it comes to certifications, think of them as a nice to have, not a need to have when it comes to contracting work. Now, when it comes to jobs, certifications may be a required checkpoint or you can't get past, you know, you can't get even to talking to the recruiter or, or whoever it is. So certifications are more for jobs, less for contracting work. It does look nice when you have them, but it's absolutely not necessary, um, especially within the lens of Fiverr. Uh, my impression is that most people going onto Fiverr are just looking for someone that they think can correctly um, complete this, complete their whatever they need, right? Whatever service they need, they want someone who can um, finish the service and they're not looking for certification. So they're not, people aren't going onto Fiverr and going and thinking like, I'm looking for someone that only has these certifications or I will not hire them to remediate my documents. Uh, but they are nice to have, right? Like if you have them on your profile, it's like, oh, like that's um, that's especially nice to see is that you have this certification because it, when it comes to certification, one thing to remember is that certification is not so much about the certificate, but what the certificate represents. And if you have what the certificate represents, then the, certif the certification is like a bonus. So if you have this the expertise that's necessary, then you can demonstrate that expertise in different ways in your, in this case, Fiverr listing or whatever listing you're on. Um, so if you can go through your processes, if you have a video where you're talking through um, your, your experience, and one thing that's compelling to me is that, you know, she's already working at a community college and helping the community college with document remediation. So just that experience alone to me is something that would draw me in to a listing. So I would, I would have that in there um, and then potentially talk about your um, experience and then not just your experience, but your process for remediating documents. And then also um, if you have like a, a portfolio, even if it's just like a sample portfolio, that's something tangible that people can look through um, and, you know, maybe redact for client privacy, but, or just create a sample, a new sample document altogether. But then talk about your process, talk about how you, this is not just, you know, about scans, you go and you, you're going to manually go through and remediate. Um, and, and so I think that would be very helpful for contracting. So for certifications, I have here IAAP certifications. IAAP stands for the International Association of Accessibility Professionals. These are the certifications I typically think of. Um, so there's the CPAC, Certified Professional and Accessibility Core Competencies, the WAS, uh, Web Accessibility Specialist, and then what would be especially relevant here is the ADS, Accessible Document Specialist. So I think if you're specializing in document accessibility, the Accessible Document Specialist uh, certification would be a nice, um, that would be nice to have, right? To, to top everything off. But again, completely not necessary, especially if you're offering a really good service on Fiverr, which I've noticed is getting increasingly competitive. Um, but if you're offering a service on Fiverr, then I think, you know, going this route would be, um, you know, if you if you make sure you have the expertise and then if you want to add to that, um, go ahead and get a, a certification. And I, I recommend the IAAP just because it's so commonly known. Um, so I think that'd be a good start. And then, you know, I talked about the Adobe reference materials. And then you could also specialize, by the way, you could also hyper specialize in um, Canva documents. A, a lot of people, like so many people use Canva, including myself. Um, so I think Canva documents would be helpful in just talking about whether it's um, presentations, whether it's spreadsheets, and, and I don't think Canva has spreadsheets, but you know, there are just different types of documents and whatever your expertise is in, then that's what the service I would be selling. And I think you could, um, you know, it wouldn't be like you get an influx of clients right away, but I think, um, you know, and depending on the type of document, but I do think that there would be um, people, you'll get people over time that are looking for specific types of documents, and you can build your portfolio of services out to include other documents. But I do know that a lot of people use Canva and they need help with Canva accessibility. 
Um, so if you expand uh, your your service reach to Canva, I think that would be very helpful. But then of course, there's also uh, Excel spreadsheets. There's also PowerPoints. There's also uh, Word documents, as simple as that may sound. People need help. They're unfamiliar with accessibility and you can help them that way. Um, and then the other certification I have here is the W3C edX Introduction to Web Accessibility Course Certification. So you can take the course and I think you just pay for the certification. I think it's just $99. Um, not that that's particularly relevant, but again, if people are looking at your profile and they see that you have this certification, then that might help them make a decision. Um, but this is what I would this is what I would think about if I was going if I was potentially offering contracting services through Fiverr or you know looking at another freelance uh, website like Upwork or Freelancer.com. Uh, so you have options here. And one other one other note is that I just published the the how to start a digital accessibility business course. If you want to go the entrepreneur route, this is going to help you, um, especially even with contracting. This can help you, but this the course is primarily designed around starting a business in accessibility, but a lot of the lessons and a lot of the, yeah, just a lot of the lessons are going to be tailored towards contracting work and getting clients and then dealing with clients. So there's a lot of good information there from my experience, but as for, for answering this question, yeah, for training, I would look at the source material and then I would build on that source material by learning from other, other how-tos, right? And YouTube has a lot of good ones. And then as far as certification, uh, think of certification as not a need to have, but a nice to have. So I will include more resources in the description.